Kanye West. John thinks he wrote for Howard. <laughs> what a good draw. Know, what a like good draw. And, 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 you know, this is potential. I, I, gosh, I don't want to. We see Pickles in the chat. Uh, uh, those are my big supporters. They really like me if they put this. My point is, uh, uh, you know, there, there could be a future Alex Stein Kanye West meeting in the future. So be oh, yeah. out for that. I just want to be vague, though. I don't want to say too much. But we'll see. We'll see oh, if we can rectify great. Kanye's. Uh, uh, you know, personality or what would you, if you had to give Kanye West advice, Julie, though, I'd like to hear it. Oh, no. Yeah. I guarantee you, he's smart as a fucking rock. He, because I'm not, I'm not, I have Tommy no idea. And I think, <laughs> and John the uh, when it comes to the world of smart, I'm, you know, my hands are tied. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> Rogan and other places. And he reminds me a lot of Elon. Like he's got a gazillion thoughts in his head. This is Hank the Angry Drunk and yeah. Dwarf. <laughs> Hank and Kanye both spitting images of Elon Musk. Yeah. According yeah. To Kanye. So Hank would be Elon Mist only because he's only a little. <laughs> paused. Now he pauses. Before he wouldn't pause and then got killed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now he pauses and tries yeah, to get his yeah. thoughts. Isn't not, that the key, Tommy? Not even like, listening. you know, just. Sit back for a second before you say something really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only About he two believed years ago. what just came out of his mouth. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, come on. And, and I think he learned how to do it because what's stupid to me or you isn't stupid to him. It just comes out wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he's really fucking smart. Yeah, man. I don't know. It comes out wrong, but he's smart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We have a whole new breakdown of stupid for people like us. <laughs> but you know, for like, Beetlejuice, what? Beetlejuice, that success never went to his peanut-sized head. No, it, <laughs> it never did. did. No, no, it didn't. No, no, and, no. and I just listened last night on Sirius. I was in the car, and I was listening to, to Stern, and when on Beetle's first appearance, he asked him how old he was, and Beetle said 48 years old. And it was like, <laughs> it is so funny, and Howard talked about that for 10 minutes. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> Howard didn't know if he was right or wrong. I was like, gosh, you look so young. Like, And you can just tell Howard had no idea. It was, it was, it was Beetle's first appearance. It was so funny. And he was there with Sean because they were doing the midget yeah, tossing. Yeah. Oh, it's such a great, great we got yeah. We got books to do the gathering of the juggalos once uh beetle myself and we're and so you fly on a regular human being plane to indianapolis and then they and then they have to put us on, on a prop plane to evansville indiana right and so we're at the, that's where it's at it's in evansville that's indiana where, that's where it was i don't know if it's still that's where there. my mom's from wait wait and it's in the middle of nowhere i've been yeah. to evansville it's yeah. in the middle of nowhere <laughs> hometown of don was. mattingly too it's, wow. it's literally up in the mountains, like a two-hour drive up into the mountains, and it's Lord of the Flies. There's no law. There's no police. There's no. It's just people with clown makeup on and stages built and, and wrestling rings. And, fan all, and methamphetamine as well. Please don't forget <laughs> yeah. the good things, the good so, fun parts. So we get booked. So we're flying. We get to Evansville. We get ready to go on this plane, and they're checking you in, and, and Beatles in front of me, and the woman goes, and how much do you weigh? Because that's when I realize how small the plane is. They, and he goes, oh, I'm about 248 pounds. Like, no, Beetle. I go, tell her your weight. She's like, what is your weight, sir? And he goes, I'm about 437. And, like, and after the fourth one, she's like, I'm just going to put not sure. You know? <laughs> They sat him right next to the pilot, which is all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So why would you put him in case he needs to fly the plane? Yeah. Really yeah. 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 He needs to land just it. Reach over to anything and just fucking <laughs> end for fun. Yeah. 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 What does this do? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, we watch that. You know, it's just what we do naturally. But yeah, this is the reason why Kanye doesn't like us. We're pocket watching. Stop. <laughs> just fucking let people make. Uh, all right, this is new. In honor of Jay Thomas, let's go the late great. Let's go around the horn and let's uh, see here if we can f if we can guess how John is going to take credit for discovering Richard. Who wants oh, to go first? I mean, I got it. Go ahead, Bob. He used to call into the show with these songs, and then I used to put him through, and I was put like, him on hold. Know, put him on hold and, and put his calls through. And how would love what I did with the phone? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, Who wants to go to Mike? To yeah, that's, I yeah Bob has to be right. Yeah, I agree. Be, yeah. I agree. But what are the odds? He goes, I'm in Kansas. 
<laughs> I mean, at Tico's Tacos. <laughs> I'm at a Tico's Tacos. I see this retarded, redheaded, long haired, what I thought was a girl licking the window of a van while shitting in it. Uh, right. He was a funny motherfucker, bro. He was funny as fuck. I discovered Hypercher. <laughs> I discovered Richard. Well, he was sending him song parody, but I'm the first to put Richard on the air at the Hard Rock and. Uh, at the Hot Rock Hotel in what Vegas. I, I mean, also, what does that mean? I, what does he even say? I, I discovered fire. Like, everything. I put him on the air on stage. What the hell? What? I put him on the air on stage at the Hard Rock in Vegas. <laughs> You're on the air at Oh, but and who was it? Larry, Larry Merrow's Green, how he just ripped him off for yeah. thousands of dollars, yeah, dude? Yeah. That, that doesn't even make Melrose. sense. Five, he charged Melrose 500 a show to go up on stage and do time, knowing the audience was just going to boo and, and throw shit at him. And and so John got his fun and made $1,000 off of Larry. I mean, he's just an asshole. But is, I remember, like, was Larry, I mean, what, why would he even do this more than one time? I mean, who's he's such a fan. Because he's, I mean, man. yes, and he's a fan, yes, but he's yeah, also insane, you know? My my brother met him at a bar in L.A. once, and he and he goes, uh, he he was he had a Howard Stern sign, and my brother mistakenly goes, uh, oh Howard Stern, he goes, my brother works for Howard, and he goes, who's your brother? Oh! Well, he goes, who's your brother? And he goes, Shuli. He goes, get out of here, and then he leaves, and then he comes back like five minutes later with a sign. It says Shuli's brother with an arrow pointing to where my brother is <laughs> holding it up next to my brother. He was funny as fuck. I discovered Hypercher. I discovered Richard. Well, he was sending him song parody, but I'm the first to put Richard on the air at the Hard Rock in, uh, at the Hard Rock Hotel in Vegas. I, I mean, also, Jeff the Drunk, he is the best. Jeff the Drunk. I kid you not, Tommy. It was not a drunk. <laughs> I told him, pretend to be drunk. His name wasn't I Jeff. told him how to drink. He <laughs> right, he was an amateur. Dude, I, I'd almost I, argue now John's a worse drunk than Jeff the Drunk is yeah. now. Oh. I mean, yeah. Jeff the Drunk has more willpower than I have. Like he quit yeah. smoking cigarettes, cold turkey, and did it for years. I eventually went back, but like did it. Like uh, believe me, Jeff has more going on than than John <laughs> a million times right. over. And Jeff yeah. owns up to it too. Jeff owns up yeah. that he's got a huge problem. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. yeah. Up knew Eric from the neighborhood and mentioned to the show about high pitch, and that got the ball rolling. And then they, I think they told him to call in or something, getting him. Yeah, not this caution. <laughs> call me up. By the way, shout out 800 plus, almost 900 people watching us tonight. Sweet. Thank you. Every morning. Uh, let me go down. And I would go through it. And I. Fucking put him on because yeah, that was time to leave in his body that just passed I, by by the yeah. I did this thing called my job <laughs> and I would write stuff down. Are you listening to this, Tommy? This is amazing. Phone oh, like I would have my screen had a phone list, you know, where and then it was like he's describing how to land a fucking space shuttle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on top I would write jokes and shit, you know. And you were the only one. <laughs> Of the and every time I said pick I couldn't up use load of snow. Ten. You didn't know how to make it work. Wow. Wow. That's so weird that the, that he called on line ten all the time. I discovered the phrase pick the world to be you order an Uber and it's stuttering John and your Uber driver just shit face <laughs> drunk. I mean, could you imagine that? I mean, talk about a nightmare. You're trying to just go to like a nice dinner with your wife or girlfriend. You guys want a beer? Wanna to go to the Pickwick Bug? But where are you guys going tonight? <laughs> yeah. Hey, give me a ring, give me five stars, right? I know you're gonna do it, right? Give me a phone, I'll do it. <laughs> Ten months. Howard would not pick up on this guy. And I'm looking. I go, Howard, pick up that fucking phone. Listen to me. We were this all waiting the... for Jeff the Drunk to come he, on. He, and... You didn't even know he was on hold. 